Yeah. Um, NDC running mate heats up. Mm -hmm. Nana Opokuajiman leads pack. Talk mm -hmm. me a father's name pops, pops up. Pops up. Yeah, names are popping. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. a pop up something. Ghanaians pay last respects to JB Dankwa and Chebi. Baumia touted uh, uh, government's achievements. Akumia tells critics. Right. Let me take you to the Chronicle. The big story says Baumia's new tax policy is good, says Association of Ghana Industries president. Also, the front page this morning, Lance Ministry constructs a new office complex oh, for DVLA. It's looking beautiful. And then also, Calvary Baptist Church, Accra, gets new senior pastor. And then also, the front page this morning, JM inaugurates Battle Jesus Phase 2, breakfast. safe alternative housing for flood victims. Daily guy this morning, um, Baumia running mate, Onyina sticks his neck out. This is very misleading, by the way. Mm. LGBTQ... So he, he didn't stick his neck out. No, no, he didn't. LGBTQ bail don't jail same-sex offenders. Afanyo marking mm. one grabbed over Jarapa Dubai owner's murder. Let me take you to the Ghanaian Times. Review curfew in Nkwanta. Mm -hmm. Traders and residents are appealing to government. The Honourable... Ambrose Derry, the Minister for Interior, is here on the front page. Also, ex-President Mahama pushes for bipartisan parliamentary inquiry into Akosombo Dam spillage. Also, President makes new appointments in prison service and the aftermath of fatal accident. Minister cautions of Fanko and Saom Road drivers against recklessness. But you see, we should also talk about the issue of... Um, the, the, the quality of the road. The, yes, uh, the yeah. people working there. Yeah, the road is not helping. Yeah. Coming to the Herald. The Herald says, uh, Ghana's military recruiting grandmothers and grandfathers as soldiers. A Kufuado poised for major ministerial reshuffle amidst party pressure. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Baumia and Mahama come signal dirty 2024 election campaign. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. The Ghanaian publisher says, give Baumia a chance. Kufu appeals to Ghanaians. Also, delete jail terms. From anti gay bill that's coming in from Afenyo Marking. Mm. Uh, also on the front page, we're told Jospon supports dialysis patients with 120,000 Ghana CDs. Right. BNFT Petroleum Fund records 1.06 billion US dollars inflow in 2023. Jospon Group supports three dialysis units with 500,000 Ghana CDs. Guys, the, the numbers are conflicting here. Mm. And Relta's I interest rates cut to push home sales. Let me take you to the Republic Press. Jirapa Dubai boss killed. Also, police detain one suspect in connection with that. And then we are told another tragic story uh, this morning came in yesterday or two days ago. Oh, Access oh, Bank founder, oh, 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 wife and oh, son, confessed dead. Oh, 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 heartbreaking. Charlie, wiping a whole sometimes you hear, you hear some that. stories and you say, oh, I mean, why? 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 Six yeah. people die, helicopter, man, wife, son. Yeah, and, and, hey. and it emerged that, uh, you know, days before the tragic accident, he had tweeted that count your blessings yeah. or something. Yeah. Count your, and then your days. The, the other man in the plane nice. was the former head of Nigerian Stock oh, Exchange. my word. Charlie, so it's, it's a tragedy beyond words. Oh, so sad, so Beautiful. sad. Condolences to the family and the people oh. of Nigeria and all of us across. Mm. Yeah. The custodian is reporting spare pass dealers Lord Baumia on tax reforms. Napo is best to partner Baumia NPP youth activist. Lands uh, Ministry presents new office to DVLA. Apanyo Marking is here as well. Mm. He kicks against jailing LGBTQ supporters mm. and Just One Group supports three dialysis units with 500,000 CDs. Let me take you to the Daily Analyst. The big story says attack on journalists. U.S. Embassy Lord Yee President for boldly defending press freedom. Also, CEO of Royal Cozy Hills Hotel, nicknamed Jirapat Dubai, oh. murdered by oh. murdered, and the police are detaining one suspect in connection with that. Well, we have an update on city police uh -huh. have actually arrested four more suspects, four more suspects. Oh, over great. the murder of that man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go to the other papers quickly. Bernard Ghanaian, uh, the new publisher has the same story as Eric Johnson killed, stabbed, body found in his own hotel room. Consexual gay lovers should not be jailed. Afanyo marking fights of custodial sentence in anti-LGBT bill. Lands Ministry hands over DVLA Accra Regional Complex. Let me take you to the Anchor newspaper. Baumia's vision for community mining receives rousing welcome. Ashanti, Takwa, small-scale miners, others rally support for policy. 
Also on the front page, we're told Takradi vaccination classes teacher beats student up to Paul mm. okay. for coming to his class late. Or com- completely unacceptable. And the photographs here on the front page mm. so mm. disturbing. No mm. teacher should behave like that. Mm. Also, support brilliant but needy students, KNUST students. Uh, uh, they are urging uh, corporate organizations. Mm. And then some other stories here on the front page. Finally, for me, um, Kufur Dams Alan says, Baumia is a leader with vision. Mm. Utum Ford Jabs detractor says, att- attempts to denigrate Asante Kingdom will fail. Mm. Danger looms as ECG Transformer houses share boundary with fuel station. And Just Born Group supports kidney patients. And then AGI hails Baumia tax reforms proposal. Uh, let me take you to the Daily Searchlight. Uh, the big story says, Bloody mayhem at mining site at Chim Akokwase. Uh, four Chinese miners shot during robbery raid. Bloody front page they have this morning. Mm. Ken please, mm. you should mm. behave better. You don't need to put these things yeah. on the front page. The, the, Completely the, the irresponsible. Images. Yes, truly disturbing. Oh, challenge. And then also, Matthew Poku Prempe will be best a compliment for Baumia. Uh, NPP youth are talking, and uh, Napo is here on the front page. Sugar <laughs> properly, <laughs> wearing jeans and some top, and then cross the leg. And then also, uh, the Metro Lens says this morning, Apostle Professor Pokunina as uh, Baumier's running mate. That's a question that they are asking. They also put on the front page uh, Ivory Coast winning the Afcon trophy. And then also something here that talks about economic prosperity through miracles. Philosophy or rhetoric not achievable. It requires uh, extreme practical and pragmatic solutions, according to Dr. Sam Ankara. I'll give you a few headlines by way of update. So as I said, police arrest former suspects of Ahmed of Jirapa, Dubai CU. That's mm-hmm. on citynewsroom.com. Tewu members or edges members to continue strike over vehicle maintenance allowance. And then Cocoa Board is talking none of our con. Tracted mass prayers suffers impotence and blindness, according to Cocoa Board, the banking one of the stories that came up. And then Access Holdings PLC confirms the death of its CEO and eulogizes him. And then GJ blacklisting directive dysfunctional and productive, according to NMC. So the NMC seems to be on a collision course with the GJ on the GJ's approach to dealing with media attacks. Mm. My journal line leads with the Jirapa Dubai owner's story. Also, police detain one suspect. We have an update with four. We'll speak to Latif Mahama later on this story. Mm. ICU Ghana suspends industrial action. That's also my journal line from page. And then local government ministry to inaugurate district assemblies today, February 12th. Maybe you should write an editorial for the district assemblies as they are inaugurated today. Yeah. What their job is, remind them of what their work is. Star FM leads with a couple of stories. Hala gives Ivory Coast victory in Afghan final. And then the Jirapa Dubai owner medal is also on the front page. And then nothing shows so far, but Mia will be his own man if elected, according to one Frederick Odro. And then the NMC story on GJ is also making the rounds. The Ghana News Agency, First Lady Commissions, the Kropong and Kwapim Library, trumpets its importance. Organized Labour suspends demonstration against 15% VAT uh, electricity. And then Access Bank CEO, others die in California plane clash. That's also on the front page of the GNA. And then Prabhupada Mandria says, let's allow Baumia to tread a new path. So lots of Baumia stories. Meanwhile, let's exercise patience to ensure safety for all. Roads Minister cautions drivers on your road. Of Hong Kong, mm-hmm. road. All right, that's GNA's mm-hmm. Benjamin Komi reporting. Most Nigerian newspapers are leading with the football and also the death of Wigwe. Mm-hmm. Really tragic story indeed. And um, I don't know if, I don't even want to start with that, but I feel like probably I have to you know, just the sadness of the thing. The, the fact that, I mean, Sky, think about it. In 2005, mm-hmm. I was privileged to be the MC of the launch of Intercontinental Bank. Right. The money to set up Access Bank was given to Wigwe and Co. by Intercontinental Bank. Wow. By 2014, Access Bank had taken over Intercontinental oh, Bank and has become the largest bank in Africa by assets. Yes. So it's Africa's largest bank. Mm-hmm. And this guy started this bank age 37 ish, mm-hmm. right? 20 years later, he's grown, I mean, wow. huge. So it's not just like a banker who's died. It's a whole <clears throat> African, you know, he started a university, yeah. he's a philanthropist. He's, he's, he's your next Tony Elumelu kind of guy, yeah. really solid guy. I mean, I think they were going to watch the Super Bowl, we are told. And so let me read the story as Access Bank said with us uh, yesterday. So it says, Access Bank Holdings PLC has confirmed the passing of Dr. Herbert Wigwe, the company's founding group chief executive officer and former group managing director of its flagship subsidiary Access Bank PLC. 
He died alongside his wife and son mm. Friday, February 9, 2024 in a helicopter accident in the United States. Very similar to the Kobe Bryant incident. Yeah, that's right. Kobe Bryant, they just did it. And it's funny, it's the same LA. Mm -hmm. So this is San Bernardino County. Very, very similar stories. Bad weather. He was with a son. Kobe Bryant was with a daughter. Yes. They were flying somewhere. We got the story over the weekend. In a statement issued on Sunday, February 11, the group noted that the entire Access family mourns the loss of Herbert, Doreen, and Cheesy. We extend our deep and sincere sympathies to this family and loved ones. Dr. Wigwe was a key driving force and a larger than life personality. You know what saddens me? You know, we don't have enough solid leaders in Africa. So if you have somebody in banking, started this so bank, well, done so well, so well doing well, philanthropy, course. started an university, Charlie, Charlie our, you know, every, he will benefit all of us. Charlie, and he just died. Let's hope that his legacy lives oh beyond his death. Oh Another tragic death happened and City has an update on that. Mm -hmm. Maybe you give me the the, one the city the version has the latest because police has, have arrested yeah. four more suspects by the murder of Jirapa Dubai CEO. Again, very sad story. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, Jirapa Dubai is the biggest tourist attraction in my view in the Upper West region. Yeah. Right? And the founder of the hotel and chief executive officer um, has been killed, murdered in cold blood. Now, according to City News, four more suspects have been arrested by the Ghana Police Service in connection with the murder of the CEO of Kosi Hill Hotel known as Jirapa Dubai. Um, the renowned businessman Eric Johnson was found dead in a pool of blood in one of his hotel rooms on Sunday, February 11. And um, the operational crime scene management team was immediately deployed to the scene leading to the arrest of one Kumbata Kwaku, who was suspected to be involved in a murder. Now, police in Anabli disclosed that four more people have been picked up in connection with the murder. And uh, the police then gave a full statement mm -hmm. on the matter. Let me just read a very short statement. It says, mm -hmm. police update, four more people arrested. The Ghana Police Service has today, February 11, Arrested four more people in connection with the murder of Eric Johnson, CEO of Crosby Hill Hotel in Paris region. The suspects Do Kuri Foster, Brian Makassim, Bay Yu Felix, and Michael Kluge, were all workers at the Crosby Hill Hotel, are uh, in police custody assisting the investigation. Together with suspect Kam Kumbata Kweku, who was earlier arrested. Mm -hmm. Investigations continue to bring perpetrators to face justice, and that's the, the latest. Okay, uh, we wish the family. And by the way, Jirapa Dubai is an amazing tourist attraction, okay. a nice venue. In fact, we're considering, mm. a, there was a discussion mm. around whether we should pass there for the caravan, mm. but we decided against it for other reasons. Mm. But this has really Major come as a blow huge, to those huge in the region. Tragedy and uh, may the family find it. Oh, peace of mind to oh, be able to oh, deal with this. oh, oh, condolences to the oh. family. Uh, let me take you to page eight of the Ghanaian Times, still related to security. Review curfew in Inquanta. Mm. Uh, traders and residents are appealing to government. Samuel Agbewode reporting from Inquanta says this morning, traders in the Nkwanta South Municipality of the OT region have appealed to the government to review the curfew imposed on Nkwanta following the communal uh, conflict between the Adele and Chala uh, communities on the one side and the Achude uh, community on the other. Okay. Uh, from 5 p.m. Mm. to 6 a.m. Uh, to 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. All right. Now, the traders explained that the review of the curfew would enable them to improve uh, on their business activities, adding that since the curfew was imposed in November 2023, it had affected their businesses in various ways. Hence, the appeal for review to pave the way for business activities to revive in the area. All right. Bernard, in the Herald this morning, three stories interesting. Ghana's military recruiting grandmothers and grandfathers as soldiers. <laughs> Ghana's military is facing backlash over the recruitment of older individuals into the forces. The Herald has obtained details of a 50, a woman in her 50s who has been enlisted as a soldier in the Ghana Armed Forces, sparking controversy over the military's recruitment process in recent uh, years, now identified as private F. Bar of Usuhima with Ami number is provided. Her pictures went viral last Friday when uh, she completed military training at the Gavs Jungle Warfare Training School in Achanse in the Eastern Region. All right. Now, a coup for the poise for major ministerial reshuffle amidst party pressure. Mm -hmm. Herald has confirmed an imminent ministerial reshuffle by the president and a coup for sparking mm -hmm. speculations about the extent of the upcoming changes within his government and uncertainty surrounding the future role of the finance minister, Ken Oferata, who had become very unpopular. While details remain undisclosed, insiders at the presidency have confirmed that the potential shakeup without uh, providing 
specific information on who might be affected. So that's it. All right. Now, in who there is, <clears throat> they're trying to make the whole airport an, an aviation training okay. academy. Now, so you give me the running mate stories. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. The graphic leads with yeah. two. Jenna uh, Pokwa yeah. being the front runner for NDC. Yeah. Toby Afede's name coming up the past few weeks. Yeah. Then for MPP, Opoku Nyina's name pops up. Yeah. With a, I mean, he made a post on yeah. Facebook, which has gone viral. So let, let me do the graphic one, yes. and then you do the daily guide. So the graphic says, as the NDC flabber John Dramani Mahama continues with his building the Ghana We Want campaign tour, there's jostling in the, in the South by key party bigwigs to cut his eye for vice presidential slots. The latest names to pop up in the list are contenders. Uh, on the list of contenders is the Agbogu Mefia of that Sogli. Stay top of the day. 14th, who could be considered to partner the NDC Flabra for 2024. The latest twist is in spite of the fact that former Minister for Education, Professor Jinan Opokwa Jiman, who partnered former President Mahama, mm. remains a big contender for the position. Now, the other possible names, mm. Chief of Staff, former Chief of Staff, Julius Debra, okay. Economist, Dr. Nimoy Thompson, okay. MP for Sunafo South, Eriko Poku, and lately, mm -hmm. retired police commissioner Nathan Kofi Oh, okay. <laughs> now, um, then the story then gives the analysis of <clears throat> Toby Afede, for example. There's a group called Advocates for Change Makers Forum, mm -hmm. professionals aligned to the center of political orientation, who say, and they, they have some guy called Ivan Chidi Akrobotu, emphasize the seriousness and potential impact of the outcome of NDC's choice of running mate on the, the main election. And they were pushing for Toby Afede. Mm. And then there are other names coming up as well. Uh, jo J uh, Joyce Bauer Mukhtari says that um, she's advocating a female running mate. Okay. And then analysts say the choice of a suitable running mate is crucial to the success of NDC in the election. Now, the On page story, three of Daily Guide, Baumia running mate, Onyina sticks his neck out. That, uh, story by Daniel Bampo. As the new patriotic party awaits the announcement of the running mate of its uh, flag bearer, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, sources close to the vice president have confirmed that Apostle Professor Opuku Enina, former chairman of the Church of Pentecost, has been considered as the potential running mate of the New Patriotic Party NPP. Mm -hmm. His consideration follows the need for a dedicated, God-fearing Christian who has shown unwavering commitment mm -hmm. to both the party and the government. Now, the consideration to pick Apostle Professor Opuku Enina is also a way to build a strong partnership with the Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia to secure victory in the upcoming uh, December 7 elections. Now, the background which is given... Mm -hmm. Uh, lead to this story is it's that the post he made a post. He made well, a post he has online. Actually distanced yeah, and the post didn't really say that, that, that he wanted to be. It's but an old sermon. But to be fair, to his name has been coming up in the it's, discussion. It's been there so for a while. Yes. Then there's also Napo's name has never gone away. Yeah, that's right. I so think they, if you go to the satellite newspaper, the yeah. details are there. An MPP youth group um, mm -hmm. is basically saying that he is the best person to partner Baumia yeah. to victory in 2000. Two strike stories quickly. <clears throat> ICU suspense industrial action. That's on uh, a few websites. The Industrial and Commercial Workers Union has joined organized labor to suspend the internet strike on February 13. This was due to government's in, uh, intention to suspend the introduction of VAT on electricity. Mm -hmm. But another strike which has not been called off is the strike that is being organized by the TEUG members mm -hmm. who are urging their uh, members to continue the strike over their vehicle allowance. The Tertiary Education Workers Union of Ghana has urged its members to continue their industrial strike despite a meeting with government on Friday to try and solve the matter. Mm. Now, Teo declared an industrial action February 1 to demand the payment of members tier 2 and vehicle maintenance allowance. Mm. So while some demonstrations have been called off, some strikes mm. are still on. And in the meantime, though, we are told by the Association of Ghana Industries that they are happy with Dr. Um, Baumier's uh, tax policies um, proposed in his recent statement to the Ghanaian people. And they are saying it's the best way forward to revive in the economy. All right, the let's president do of the Association uh, of Ghana Industries, Dr. Humphrey Ayim Daka, is quoted mm. uh, saying in the Chronicle this morning. Yeah, a mm. few more stories. Bernard, danger looms as ECG transform a houses share boundary with a fuel station. Mm. There's a news desk report in the informer residents of Agbajena mm -hmm. at the Accra New Town in the Ayala. Agbajena. Okay, there, there are two A's. So, yeah, Agbajena. Okay. Yeah. Residents of Agbajena. <laughs> Sounds like a Jama from, song. They are not from here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they are not happy. They've expressed grave concern about the proximity of a new fuel station mm -hmm. uh, being constructed to an ECG transformer with its unimaginable future disastrous consequences. The dangerous uh, development mm -hmm. uh, raises a number of salient but unanswered questions regading authority. Let's just wrap up with two quick highlights. Caleb, sorry to catch you off. Yes, 
Pokwasi Road. Yes. The minister yeah. is urging Richard Sky and Co to exercise patience. Uh, Mr. Kwesi of uh, Makwata, yes. Minister for Roads and Highways, has urged drivers who supply the Afangkon Samam Road to exercise some level of patience and caution to ensure safety for all. The minister's call follows an accident that occurred on Monday, February 5, around mm. China, which claimed more than seven lives. Then, uh, Mr. Afenyo Markin, mm -hmm. in the debate over the LGBTQ, yes. is saying that of same sex offenders should not be jailed. Yeah. Yeah. So, he's saying that custodial sentences for them is beyond. Mm -hmm. This debate, I'm sure, will become bigger mm -hmm. as the bill nears a complete um, conclusion. So, watch out for Watch this space. But everything majority that Alex Afenyo Markin has urged the House to amend or delete clauses in the year to be passed anti gay bill that recommends consider sentences as a sole punishment for people found to be involved in or supporting LGBTQ. Mm -hmm. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll bring you more later. Right, Take right. Business News is next. Stay with us.